doesn't mean they're gonna die. It doesn't look like they're gonna die. Do you wanna die? In this game, black is Takemi Yamasaki. White is Kataoka Satoshi. White played a star point and a sansan. And black, of course, is going to play a three star opener. White approaches a corner. Black answers. Slides into the corner. Black answers too. And white pulls back. Normally, Takemiya will play somewhere over here, but today he played here. And now, white cannot allow black to play somewhere over here. So white plays over here, and black immediately shoulder hits. White extends, black extends, white jumps, and black makes a two-space extension. Now it looks like black is attacking white stone. But as soon as white jumps, it looks like white is applying pressure on these black stones. Now black extends down. We have a cutting point, so white secures the cutting point, and black small necks out. Although this move seems reasonable, but as soon as white small knights and black plays here, white plays here, black is going to live. It's not a problem. But if you look at here, white is forming a great framework. That's why black played the small knights, and white really should have played over here to settle these stones. But Kataoka is a greedy guy. He plays over here, and Takemiya loves influence, so he just gives these points to Kataoka. And Hane, black Hanes, white double Hanes, black extends, and white connects. From here, if black plays something like this, then white, of course, is going to play something over here to settle those groups. As soon as these white stones are settled, this influence turns into a worthless garbage. So, in the actual game, black pincers these two stones. White first caps that stone and black applies pressure on these stones but also growing this side of the board. Takemiya doesn't really want to capture these white stones but by attacking he wants to grow this side. Now white jumps, black peeps to see what's up and white attaches over here. If black harness from this side, black is tricked. White cuts over here, and white has too many centers on that side of the board, so it's very easy for white to live. Black could harness from this side, but as soon as white pulls back, there are some weaknesses and tightness of liberty over there, and black doesn't really want to spend another move on this side of the board, so it can get tricky. So, in order to avoid those trickiness, Takemiya pulled back. In black's plan, if white pulls back, then black was going to immediately take away this corner. And Kataoka saw through black's plan and took the corner. Now, black makes another turn. This is reducing white's territory, but also applying even more pressure on these white stones. But white thinks that's not gonna die, black Hanes, white double Hanes, black Ataris, white connects, when black extends, white should really think about how to save these groups, but no. At this point, white thought spending another move on these white stones, it's not gonna guarantee their life, but also spending one less move doesn't mean they're gonna die. It doesn't look like they're gonna die. So white just took even more points. As soon as Takemiya saw this move, he wanted to ask Kataoka one question. Do you wanna die? White attaches over here. Black Hannes and white jumped. After the game, Chochi Kun was wondering what if we abandoned these three stones because that doesn't work that much, right? It's not worth that much. So white could have 
just play it over here. Then black connects. White harness. If black captures, I mean, Atari's this stone and captures this stone, then white can Atari and capture these three stones and white is alive. If black pulls back, then white can simply capture this stone and white is alive. Even if black cuts off the connection, white can throw anywhere over here, probably somewhere over here, and reduce this, then white has a pretty good chance of winning. This was Cho Chi Kun's recommendation after the game, and this is also AI's blue spot sequence. But in the actual game, Hataoka says, not gonna die, don't worry about it. Black jumps, and white keeps jumping. This two space jump, although it seems a bit loose, if black tries to forcefully cut the connection, then white, just like how Jochi Kun would do, live over there and use this stone to abandon these four stones. But Takemiya wouldn't be happy with capturing only those stones. So he says, kill more. White still grabbing those territories. Black attaches. White attaches, trying to seek some ideas over here. Black harness to completely cut white off from these stones. White extends and black forms a tiger's mouth. This tiger's mouth is the last chance Takemiya is offering Kataoka to live. If white hana is over here, then white could live, but some territories over here are gonna get erased. But in the AI's eyes, black is about 60% win rate and white is about, you know, do the math, 40% or something. But in the actual game, white jumped down to secure these territories. Now, black has to capture these white stones. And black's move is this Hane. White bumps, black connects. Now the situation is different from before. Before we only had three stones at most. If we count this, four stones. They are very light. But because of these exchanges, this is a lot of points. If white still plays this Hane, then black can Atari first, then white connects, cut off the connection. As soon as these white stones die, black got too thick in the middle, so nothing is gonna work on this side of the board. Even if white lives, the game is still really, really, really good for black. So in the actual game, white connected. Catch me if you can. Black Ataris, white connects, black forms a tiger's mouth. White crawls, trying to get more eye space, but black does not give any chance. White saw there's no chance of making two eyes over here, so white extends this stone. Black solidly forms a tiger's mouth, and this is also telling Kataoka that I am going to capture all your stones. There's no way out. No way out. White connects over here. Black bumps, trying to see what's up. And white extended. And black secures this cutting point over here and also destroying white's ice space. Kataoka still wanna try, but Black does not give any chance. Extend. White blocks. Black turns. Double honey. Blocks. Feeds a stone. Captures. And plays over here. And black jumps. White Ataris. Black connects. Although it looks very ugly over here, but black does not have any problem in this group. Now white pushes, black connects, white plays here, no eyes, 
white tiger's mouth over here. This move is looking for Hanes over here and some weaknesses over here. But in the book, Takemiya said, at this point, I knew I won. There are no way of white living. Black formed a tiger's mouth over here. White bumps over here. Black pushes. Now, if white plays here, then black can play here. White still cannot form two eyes. In the game, white connected over here. Now black turns over here and white ignores black and tries the last trick play. This move is looking for black's this hane. If black plays here, then white is going to push. Black needs to extend. White pushes. When black blocks, white plays here. Black plays here. From here, white makes one last exchange and white can cut over here. If black connects over here, then white can Atari. When black extends, another Atari and can ladder, these two stones and white stones are alive. If black connects over here, then white can capture this stone. And when black connects, white can play here. And this is a sente. If black takes this coat, then white can play here. Then white is alive. If black gets too aggressive, then white can throw a stone over here. Now we got a ko and this is really good for white. When white cuts, if black ataris, then white can atari this one first. And extend, black needs to capture this stone, then white can get back to this variation. But in the actual game, Takemiya does not give him any chance. White peeps, when black connects over here, white resigned.